So there's been even more confusion over the weekend after uh, Boris Johnson's announcement in terms of easing the lockdown measures in England. And I've seen um, a lot from people on my timeline who just um, haven't understood that Boris Johnson doesn't speak for Wales in terms of the lockdown. I even saw a comment from somebody who didn't realise Wales had a first minister until yesterday afternoon. And I think that's a really sad reflection in terms of how weak our media is in Wales and also how um, England-centric and often London-centric the UK media are and, and the UK government are because they don't point out that difference in terms of how um, decisions are made across the UK. And in terms of Wales, I thought I would do a really quick crash course in devolution. Um, our culture is thousands of years old and if there's one theme or one trend you pick up from that history when you start digging into it, it's that um, Wales has always had a drive for uh, Welsh independence, for self-determination. And in 1997, we had a referendum in Wales where people voted to establish what we now know as the Welsh Parliament. And at a similar time in Scotland, the Scottish Parliament was established there. So in Wales, we have our own government, which is responsible for uh, 20 different areas, really key areas. So uh, health, housing, education, uh, decisions on those areas are, are, and others are made here in Wales by the Welsh ministers. Um, in terms of lockdown, this is really key because what it means is that any decision in terms of easing uh, lockdown will be made uh, by the ministers here in Wales. And Boris Johnson does not have any say on that whatsoever. And I think it is so important that people understand how their own country is run. And Wales is a country, as I've said, we've had a long history, a long drive for self-determination because um, decisions made about Wales are better made by people who live and work here. And that couldn't be truer in terms of um, this pandemic and this lockdown. So for instance, in North Wales, we're not past the peak yet. We very much want to make sure that our situation is a priority. And I do take some assurance from the fact that the Welsh Government will prioritise what the situation is here and base any decisions in terms of coming out of lockdown on the evidence that's here for us in terms of what's happening in Wales. So the message here is still really clear. We've extended lockdown for three weeks. The message is still stay home, stick with this and stay safe.